how about taking up an event that would discuss the implications of information and communications technologies on family farming and this event does academically and and in thinking does offer huge challenges to us so it's, it's for me overwhelming how many people we have here and out of how many uh, regions of the world we have people here. What is the target of the Club of Ossia? So let's say it started with a group of agriculturalists, but it is open to new ones, so I welcome everybody to take part uh, at the Club of Ossia. And it should improve the collaboration, independent, if public, if private, if technological, if the science, whatever, we have to cooperate. Uh, without this cooperation, we will not be able to solve the problem. So it should be a platform for interaction, for dialogue, and it aims to be global. This is what the Club of OSEAC is about, that we are not only here to produce more food as farmers, we are not only making the food affordable, we are also not making the food only as healthy and nutritious, and but we have, as far as many of us believe, the farmers of this world have interests in managing the environment and the cultural heritage of a region and a village. We have to consider agriculture as a part of the ecosystem and how ICTs can contribute to the sustaining sustainability of, uh, agri of uh, agriculture, of those involved in agriculture. So this has been one of the Club of Osiak's uh, primary motives for coming together. First, policies and societal values are now considered as being as key drivers of changes and shaping the future. Second, uh, very importantly, consumers and uh, consumption patterns are increasingly recognized as um, one of the key drivers shaping the future of agriculture, rural development and, and food. What is important is that we did this conference not just because it's the year of family, uh, the International Year of Family Farming, but also because family farming is at the core of agriculture worldwide. So cooperatives could be something to manage commons. And you can also use this map for an easier selection of your projection zone. The resolution is 30 centimeters per pixel and the images are certified for agricultural applications by the uh, European Union Joint Research Center. You can see here the fields with the appropriate plots or plot and the plot describes the smallest uniform cultivated area and therefore also the outstanding activity because each activity is linked uh, to an icon as you can see here the start fertilization or the harvest and so on. All this information are from the experts. So the planning is done on the geographical side then the field is moved into the database and directly transported to the mobile GIS on the system outside. The contract that you produced in the office is sent to the mobile equipment to MobGIS. The red arrow is your own possession then you see the, all the contracts that you have get, what you should do, and when you click on the contract, you know where the field, where you should go. And you have the map behind for orientation. We don't want to enable family farming, we want to improve family farming. So I would like to thank you all for listening to me. Thank you very much.